When stacking monochrome astrophotography data, you will often end up with a variance in brightness between the different data, which can result in a significant color cast once the data has been color mapped and blended together. One way to balance out the brightness of the data layers is to use the linear fit filter. To demonstrate this, I'll first color map and blend my monochrome red, green, and blue data layers. First, I'll shift click and select all three layers. Then set the blend mode to add. Now I'll add a recolor adjustment and child layer it into the red data layer by click dragging the adjustment over the text or label of the layer and releasing the mouse button. I can duplicate this recolor adjustment by holding Option on Mac, Alt on Windows, then dragging it into the green data layer and releasing the mouse button. I'll change the hue to 120 degrees. Then I'll use the same procedure for the blue data layer, this time changing the hue to 240 degrees. My data is now color mapped, and the blue signal is clearly much brighter than the red or green signals. When using linear fit to balance out the signal brightness, I could employ one of two approaches. The first would be to balance based on the most intense signal, in this case, the blue data. To do this, I would select the blue layer first, then hold Command on Mac, Control on Windows, and click to select the green and red data layers. I can then go to Filters, Astrophotography, Linear Fit. The composited color result now becomes much more neutral in tone. Depending on the data being used, it may be better to scale based on the dimmest signal instead. This may result in a better noise profile and in some circumstances would avoid overexposure of bright objects or stars. I'll undo with Command Z on Mac, Control Z on Windows. Then, this time, I'll select the red data layer first, which is the dimmest, and hold Command on Mac, Control on Windows, whilst I select the green and blue data layers. As before, I'll go to Filters, Astrophotography, Linear Fit. You will notice the image does not significantly increase in brightness this time. This would potentially provide a better starting point for further tone stretching as well. And there we go, just a short video to show you how the Linear Fit filter works. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.